Hello, we are here doing a Kotori Minami unboxing. This is her White Day version. Um, it is made by the very highly acclaimed figure maker Alter. Um, they are super high quality, very expensive, but worth it. Um, it took her, let's see, took her something like 390 days to get to me from pre-order to my doorstep. That's a that's a pretty long time. And we're still missing one because we were actually doing two unboxings today. Right. But we really wanted to do three, but we just decided to not right. wait. Right. Um, so Kotori's going first because she's my best muse girl. Um, she is part of a three set, obviously. Um, but a little controversy with these figures she was delayed something like four times. So was the one that was supposed to come right after her, which is Umi. And also Honoka has been delayed as were, well. Were they supposed to come out all at the same time? No, I think they were supposed to come out like one or two months after another. So there wasn't supposed to be such a gap between them. Um, but her official release date, uh, Kotori's official release date was sometime in November, I believe. Uh, I want to say November 24th. But to be clear, she just showed up. Like For me, she just showed up. Um, there are many websites that we can pre-order stuff on. I pre-ordered her from Tokyo Otaku Mode. She, for some reason, took a long time to get there. Uh, I think she shipped out of their U.S. warehouse, which meant the shipping was very fast to me. But I think it just took them a long time to get their stock. All right, shall we get started? Absolutely. Let's get in there. Okay. Um, these boxes are really cool. Um they are all plastic, clear. They have these little feathers, some stars, um, very much like the um, aesthetic of this set. Are they the, the whole set, those three? Yes, I believe so. Um, there have been some other figures announced. I believe there's a Halloween Yoshiko from Aqua announced. Uh, she is still pending. Okay. All right. Alter has also done, I'm sure people are familiar with, Alter has also done a full Muse line of special figures, and they are really cool. Yeah, aren't they, they, they're not even skins from, like, the game or anything, right? They're, like, their own unique no, designs? No, they are, they are. They're, um, okay. they're from the game. Um, they Shows were, what I know. They're, like, initial, initial forms, I think. Um, certain ones, certain other ones that were special. These are special uh, limited URs, I believe. So I have the Kotori and the Umi URs. Not sure where Honoka went, but hopefully one day I can get her. All right, so. Honoka missing both. We're both missing the figure and the UR. <laughs> yes, it's okay. Still love her. Um, so it seems like there's just one outer box. Super cool. And then our lovely um, blister pack here. All in one. Gonna be super careful. And did we say how much this one was? So this figure um, ultimately pre-order retailed at 15,800 yen, which today, very much today, translates to about $145. All right, so here's, here's the rest of the box. If we're interested. It's got her concept art on it. Ooh, and the inside is really cute too. There's some like, I don't know if we can get a shot in there. Some cute like ribbon art that's like, is that attached color. to the box or is that like dyed on there? Um, I think oh, it's nope. like an yeah. inner. Okay. So you could okay. pose her with it if you wanted to? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Just the idea. Um, there's also like some cool feathery stardusty stuff on the bottom. So you could maybe even do either one if you really wanted to. Definitely fits the aesthetic. It's going to be quick, huh? She's all one piece all together. Is she attached to the base? Um, I'm not sure. It actually doesn't look like she's attached to the base. It looks like there is little spacer in between so let me get that tape cut it's probably a tape on the bottom should have done that first oh yep oh no this I'm so uh -oh. excited image is taken moments before disaster <laughs> oh all right oh yeah that's a loud noise but we're okay that's the sound Ooh. all right Oh my. Oh, yep. It's really in there. It's really in there. Um, I do give them points for... She's definitely not going to stumble out. No. I give them points for, like, making sure she's secure. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with that. 
Oh my yes. god. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, everybody. Oh, it seems there is some tape at the bottom. Okay. This. Apparently, I need glasses because you do need glasses. <laughs> oh, I didn't miss it all the way. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. She, oh, she's oh, good. She's good. She pop right out of there. It, so, is she on the base? Looks like yes. No. no. She's okay. Not on the base. Uh, Does the... she attach to the base? Oh, I guess. Mm. Okay. Um, I'm not sure she actually like. Well, we'll attaches, see. Attaches there's to like the base. there's little nubs there, but I'm not totally sure how that works. All right, so she comes in this little this little plastic guy. Oh, there's some really delicate pieces on here. She is a nice figure. Yes, she is beautiful. Let's just get some of this down. Show. There's definitely some tape back here. Uh, she has this very delicate bow in the back. It's been styrofoamed and padded. It's good. Wow. Is it taped and styrofoamed? Or yeah. Okay. Let's get this. Uh... Okay. So a little more clear. Here's the base. Yeah, I think the base is just free form you can do whatever you want be very careful do a little uh surgery back here okay oh my <laughs> okay all right yep oh she she's lifts got, right out of there yeah, okay she's got some tape around her bow in the back beautiful can we Otherwise, get a look at the bottom yeah. Of the figure? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then let's go to the back, too. So there's that wow, okay. amazing bow. It is very fragile, I think. Like, it definitely moves. Um, her what, wings are pretty solid. What's but... the texture there? Is that, like, glass, or what is that? No, um, it's just smooth. It kind okay. of feels soft, like... Like very soft molded plastic. Um, uh, wow, there's a lot of um, really cool glittery details on the wings. Turn her around to the front. Yeah, she's got all of these like really obviously hand painted um, like chains, jewels, mm -hmm. all that stuff. Uh, the flower in her hair, glittery as well. Very very detailed. Um, her expression is very classically couture. So talk to me about the base. Does she attach to that at all, or does she literally just sit right on it? Yeah, I don't think she attaches. I don't think she attaches. Are there, um, is there any texture on the bottom of her feet so that she doesn't slide around, or is it she just lives on that base? No, I think um, once you set her, obviously don't forget her, but once she's down, But she'll down. slide around, right? No. No, so no sliding. I okay. think... What's super interesting about this bow, they made it this molded plastic. Okay. This really soft plastic so that she kind of rests on it. Smart. Yeah. So she's doing like this very, very classic like kneeling, which she would topple if she did not have this back here. Um, the base itself is beautiful. It's got this really interesting like, it's really like interesting little tiny heart details and little dots oh okay it kind of looks like water and i mm -hmm. thought it was water for a second i didn't say anything because i thought like some weird condensation had gotten in there mm -hmm. but it's actually just kind of like translucent little hearts stars what have you whatever you want to call them so it's really pretty um ethereal i guess and then definitely has school idol project printed or um laser engraved in there it's really hard to see i'm sure because it's clear but i actually really like that because it's not taking away from the base or the figure right though you know what it is and also that makes it official hide the copyright right she looks amazing um all of the little details are great even like the lining on her dress here just something that i instantly fell in love with i was just like wow that is so cool it's wonderful it looks just like the card um definitely a pickup i would 
hundred percent, thousand percent, a million percent recommend if Kotori is your best girl. She's pretty popular, so she's many people's best girls. Um, this figure is well worth the price it's and also the shipping, in my opinion. She's got her mic on too. Yeah, that's a nice um, detail. Yeah, it's really cool because they're part of the cards. I think is their backstage or whatever, and you can actually see them as they had performed or were going to perform or whatever. Okay. I should know more lore about those cards. I yeah. apologize. <laughs> no, I think that's probably a decent overview. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's get into Umi. Okay. All right, and here we have Sonora Umi. She is my second favorite girl. Um, her box is quite, like, bigger than I expected it to be. Is it bigger than It's bigger. Victoria's? Yeah. Um, it's heavier. Because she's bigger, too, as a side note, I think that is why her price was slightly higher. She's, oh, was she more? Okay. Yes. Yeah, so instead of the 15800 she is actually she actually retailed pre-order at 16800 So 1,000 yen more, uh, which is about $10 more USD. Okay. Yeah. So just under $155. And like you said, these are the only three that they're doing. They're not doing a full set of these. I believe so. Believe so. Um, I don't. I'm not sure that there are cards of the others from this set. Please, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I could be totally wrong. I have a feeling Honoka is going to be a very modest box. <laughs> yeah, is hers? Is hers seems smaller. I think she's a little smaller. Yeah, um, a little more compact. I think Umi was the bigger of the three. Ta -da. Same box aesthetics, clear feathers, little stars, cute stuff. Outer box revealing an inner blister pack. Ooh. All right. Oh my. Taking up the entire frame here. Trying not to wreck anything on my way down. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes. She's, she's seemed, much bigger. She's bulky. Yeah. Goodness. Okay, get over here. <laughs> All right. So here's her box art, um, promotional concept art, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the same design in the box. So you could most likely pose her with that background as well. You can already see that she's like got a lot of like dress very wide coming out sure she looks great though okay now i just got to find those pesky tapes ah she has three tapes <laughs> i can imagine why no tape on the top it looks like thanks for going easy on me okay i think she's Almost free. Okay. Yeah, maybe from the bottom this time. Bottoms up. Oh, yeah. That works. Okay, that seems a little easier. So she's also on a little plastic, like, dais above. Dais, good word. Yeah, above her... Uh, her base, she's a little wobbly there. I think there's a lot of padding. I don't want to let her go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, she is pretty much wrapped head to toe. Right, um, I think a lot of those details are super um, fragile around the ruffles of her skirt. Yeah, she looks fragile, yeah. jeez. There's this whole deal underneath i can feel it um yeah that was definitely to keep everything from like colliding together i'm gonna say it they it. they overdid it on this one she looks way fragile especially Jeez. that that ruffle right there which one just looking at that one makes me yeah all of this yeah right here. that makes yeah. me nervous yeah this is the most nerve-wracking part for me <laughs> When there's plastic underneath their obviously very fragile hair, mm -hmm. 
you, gotta... you never know if it's going to come out or not. Right, right, right. <laughs> Sometimes it's really wedged in there. That was beautiful. I love it. It's gone. Solid execution there. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hmm. It's a very interesting piece. It's yeah, this looks literally like a molded to her skirt. Mm-hmm. Dress, rather. Um, so, okay. So you have... So we have some tape. Okay, so that like, yeah, tape. wow. Okay. Right here. So there's like a separate flat, like plastic, like skirt, basically, over her skirt, which is kind of cool. That like lifts out of there. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to lift that up yep. there. Her wing is caught underneath. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's going to be tight. Yep. It should have actually been two pieces, so it's like one whole piece. That's a little... It could have been two pieces. Two pieces down the middle. Hey, man. That's cool okay. little toilet seat that she comes with. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. Yeah. It looks like, though, she's completely unharmed. Wow. Okay. Yet more plastic to yes, remove. Yes, more plastic. Okay. Well, let me Let's take this. Yeah, there you go. All right. Here she is. Why don't you put her under the light there? In the light. There we go. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Can we get a 360 spin? Yeah. Let me uh, throw her on the base. Can we get a look at the bottom of the figure, how it sits? Oh, sure. So does this one, this one doesn't use no, the same hot tech that the other one uses? The Palmer or whatever? No, I don't think so. I don't think the bow, the whole support system um, is the skirt. Is it, does it feel like the the plastic um, here yeah kind of it's a little more stiff okay i think um because but she's, there's so much weight to support she's not gonna roll around no absolutely not she's she's solid on that's there. yeah she's that's impressive base. that's yeah. impressive i'll give it up yeah i wonder i really wonder how like how long that took to figure out um awesome she looks great all of her details are wonderful she's got the jewel in her hand or rather, I think it's a, it's a petal. Very jewel-like, though. Uh, the butterfly in her hair is amazing. Yeah. She's got her microphone and these hand-painted, hand-painted everything. Um, the glitter is beautiful. All the lining is beautiful. Her wings, of course, are beautiful. Um, this bow in back is also quite beautiful. Um, not quite a metallic finish, but it kind of mimics that it's like silky i guess too it's really really cool her hair looks great i know hair is a point of contention for a lot of people when it comes to painting but it just looks really nice same as couture's but you can tell that like they put a lot of time and effort into these designs um the colors are beautiful true to the cards um their expressions are point on point I love them. They are worth the price. They look pretty good. Do you want to pose it next to the Kotori there? Yeah. Oh, kind of trips me out how she just leans back on her bow. Yeah. Yeah. It's really cool, honestly. Um, I thought that she would have like a peg or something. Because sometimes when you want a figure to like fly or jump or whatever, they have like something that sticks into the base. But like this, this works. Okay. Okay. They're just waiting for Honoka to come home now. She's almost here. And we'll we'll do we'll do we'll do this again when Honoka gets here. Definitely. Yeah. Um, we will we'll get her. Yeah, and we'll pose them all together and they can be reunited as second years. Because we love them so much. Yep. All right. Well thank you for watching. Yes, thank you. We'll be back with more Honoka. 